everyone, Patty Wack here, and I'm at the I Love to Create Studios. It smells so good in here. You can just smell the cinnamon everywhere. And we're making cinnamon clay today. And we're gonna show you just how easy and fun it is to do with Aline's tacky glue. Here's what you'll need. A Ziploc bag, a straw, measuring spoons, three quarters cup of applesauce, a cup of cinnamon, ground nutmeg, ground cloves, Aline's original tacky glue, cookie cutters, and wax paper. Now for the cinnamon clay recipe, pour one cup of cinnamon into the bag, add one tablespoon of cloves, and one tablespoon of nutmeg. Add three quarters cup of applesauce. And you know what? I found that these little single serving bowls work great. Now for the original Aline's Tacky Glue, you'll need two tablespoons of glue. And here's the fun part. Knead the mixture with your hands until it begins to form a ball. Now the kids will love to do this. It's going to take a few minutes, and if it's still sticky, just add a little bit more cinnamon. And if it won't stick together, just add a little bit more tacky glue. After forming a ball, place the cinnamon clay on waxed paper and just pat it out with your hands. Then turn it over and smooth it out on both sides. You can use a rolling pin for this step also. And I like to make the clay about a quarter of an inch thick. Next, grab your favorite cookie cutters and just press them down into the clay to create any shapes you like. I chose a crown to make mine. I think it's gonna be a cute tag for a gift. Now if you're going to hang your ornament, you'll want to push a straw through the clay while it's damp. And the last step is to let your clay dry for at least 24 hours or until it's hard. You can also dry it in a 250 degree oven to speed up the process. I think the crown looks great on this burlap bag that I filled with potpourri and now it's ready to give away or I can just keep it for myself. Another fun idea for tacky cinnamon clay is to make Christmas ornaments. You'll need your dried ornament and tulip dimensional paints. What I love about this is that the dimensional paint looks just like icing that you would put on cookies or cupcakes. It's a great way to add that personal touch. And that's just how easy it is to make cinnamon clay with Aline's Tacky Glue. Now, if you're not a subscriber already, make sure and subscribe and don't forget to like us and I'll see you on the next video.